Jacksonville State and then King Ohio. King Ohio. Looking to throw, it's Carter. Dumps it to the back. He's got his man, makes the grab. Put it right on him. Sweet play, good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. Fresh set of downs after the completion. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle. It's Porter. Offense base at the 25. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. He came into this year with big expectations, everybody expecting him to stat it up. And now with that last completion, he's already over 2,000 yards passing for the season. And the Huskies will have it first and 10. They'll throw it from the red zone. Oh. They finally get him on the ground, but not before he rips off enough for a first down. UConn comes to the line with a first and goal. Looking to throw. Quarterback strolling away from Heat. And he'll finish the run in the end zone. Touchdown, Husky! Well, that didn't necessarily go as planned, but it was most effective. Really didn't. I was hoping to roll out to the right. He's down in the red zone. And this quarterback didn't have anybody open. Didn't panic. He just decided, man, I'm going to go do this myself. I'm going to use my wheels and put up six on the board. Mm -hmm. just... mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Knew where we wanted to go with what are we doing? So much for to think about I feel like I don't score every fucking drive when we lose. Fix that. We're getting sodomized on the sideline every freaking play. The officials offer the deal and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Give me the deal. Keep him off balance on first and ten. He's looking to throw it. He makes the connection. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. Due diligence. UConn is now threatening in the red zone. Quarterback making adjustments with his receivers. Oh, hold up. Yeah, you, Tuna. Big Tuna. 
He'll come out throwing on first down. Ooh, I got murdered. Yeah, for some reason, my guy said something about tuna, so I put the tight end on a hot route and said, did tuna. Well, I finally does something that looks like something that somebody would do with a high overall. Get out there. Touchdown. What a catch and run for six. And I think he does a really good job here. Drop him back to pass. Is it just because it's rivalry week? Is that the reason that there's a uh, people in the stands now? Or is it because of the four wins? Do do do. Oh, good block out there. Thought for a second he wasn't going to be able to get over there to the outside. Touch pass. A little pre snap eye candy for the defense. Touch pass Massacre. on the jet sweep. And he never had a chance. Just stopped cold as soon as he got it. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. Leaves it with the back. And I love this because you got second and really, really long. And what's the idea of the offensive coordinator? Get third and manageable. Nice job getting the run. Not only a positive run, shoot, you almost got the first down. Now you're set up for good success. Can I do hurry up. Let me do hurry up. Let me do hurry up. Those sticks and you're like, dude. Touchdown, UMass. Just kidding, field goal. To the air on first down. Pressure Bro did not run his route. I'm almost positive. Porter was on a fucking stop and he just ran dead across the field. Let's do it this time, Porter. Ooh, no! Oh my god. So stupid. Looking downfield, it's Carter. Why? And he was hit just as he was releasing the I have pass no time to throw the football. QBs and receivers on third down. Every okay. I don't even like doing jet toss, fucking touch passes anymore. I just lose five yards. A guaranteed five yard loss. Creates a little space. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Or no. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll leave it with the a fresh back. set. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. He got three on first down at second and seven. From the gun, they'll try to down set. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play. It's down at the 35. How bold will they be on third down after that last run? From the gun, wants to pass. Dude, I got no time. There's no time for me to do anything. How nice is it as a D? My offensive line hates me. Stupid. I don't know why I'm not even playing MLB right now. Fuck this game. Not much room there. They'll give him one to the nine. And a lot of times you want those big plays. You want those splash plays. But sometimes you're going to take some losses. You're not going to run the football overly well. But if you continue to run, you can at least create some balance. You at least have the threat of it. Bro, 76 is over there with his nobody in front of him. Not doing a damn thing. As long as he ends up like, oh, what's going on? Golly. Tough 
Touchdown, minute man. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. I had to throw it immediately. Deep, deep passes are not in the availability of the fucking. See that free runner coming right through my fucking head. Let's go Aaron Hicks. Run the gun, wants to pass. Makes the catch. It's Robinson. He is run out of bounds. Oh my god, I'm getting away. The Huskies come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. He'll I'll take this one, brother. Knocked down at the 29 yard line. Picked up 15 yards on the play, and he's got a first down. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the tight end. The same, brother. The way out and make the catch. You know, this sophomore has a big arm, and there were some revolutions on that one. Oh no. Yep. I knew that as soon as I fucking. Taking it the other way. Knew it. And they capitalized not only on the pick, but on the great return to him. That is one court. And they won't try another play, instead, taking a knee and they'll head to the locker room. That's the end of the. Go. Yes, dude. Let's go. Fucking need it. Eat. Run like the wind, bullseye. What happens when you put a white boy on a on an African American touchdown Minuteman touchdown interception fumble field goal dropping back it's Carter tight end finds a soft spot Let's keep the short pass game going Concept there to get things going and use the tight end early. Yeah, I mean, just such a great job on first down. Fucking drop it. Second down. Understanding, I don't always have to push the ball down the field, but see the tight end, make the throw. No, it's not a big game. It makes life really easy on me on second down. They'll try to power their way ahead, and he'll move his way forward to the first down. They'll mark it at the 35. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the hot hand. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. They got nothing on the last play at second and ten. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab outside. It's Robinson. And he'll stay on the sidelines after making a good gain on that one. Lining up trying to convert this third and short from the 40. From the gun, wants to pass. He's got his man. Nice pick up there. Gets him the first down and oh, sets him up at the so bad. yard line. Yukon quick to the line. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope, it was a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the steps. From the 30-yard line on first down. Hey, listen, it's important at that position to be able to be good off schedule. Everything's easy when it's on time. You get the ball out, but when things break down, they get off schedule. You've got to have a guy back there that can make the right decisions. Mm. He did exactly that. Yeah, that was a 
So literally the same for you just ran, yeah. They'll run play action. And the ball comes out. What a disaster. Just press triangle. I don't even know if they're going to that fumble and securing it. And that is exactly <sighs> Destroyed the entire game. UMass is making us look like children. I'm looking for the deep ball too much. I can't. I don't have time to fuck around with the deep ball. Sack, 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 sack. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Just a short pass to the tight end. He was not going to be denied, discarding tacklers, running behind his pads, and finally down at the 40. And with that pass right there, over 300 yards. That's a good day at the office, being able to execute doing a good job seeing what's coming, anticipating, taking some shots today, but this hold really strong, put up some good numbers. Here they come, first and ten from the 48. He wants to throw. It's complete. Obliterated. I mean, we just... the acceleration, the vision, and he works his way to the 44. Offense gets Even set there. for second down. Easy. Wide receiver coming across <clears> in motion. Quick pass on the fly. What the hell was that? Dragged down at the 39, but he's got five yards, and they'll move the sticks. And the Huskies have this offense rolling. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Let's see if we are on the track in that situation. You know there's nowhere to go, so just cut your losses. Right. Absolutely. Slide. Don't take the extra punishment. You just give up on the play. And he really dropped it. That one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. 
Did you see how far that was? And I got hit. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. They'll put it in play from the 40 on first and 10. He'll keep it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Couldn't get him blocked on that last one. Now it's second and 14. He's looking to throw. Trying to get to him. Trying to make magic with his feet. He's brought down, but not before he turned that into a positive play and picked up a few on the run. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. It is. Working that left side. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. UConn comes to the line after getting another first down. Looking to pass inside the red zone. Oh, there's nobody. Got some room, head to the goal line. They'll finally get him stopped at the one-yard line. What a run there. So the opportunity with a touchdown here to take a fourth quarter lead. Touchdown. Touchdown. UConn. They've got the lead here in the fourth. Touchdown, UConn. Snap, lost to throw. And it's picked off. That's the turnover they desperately needed. Head coach wanted to be aggressive. You could have just kicked an extra point and tied it. Instead, you went for the lead. You come up short. Now, it's not true. A lot of pressure on Oh, our defense okay, got to stop. They'll run it, trying to drain time off the clock. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Dropping back, it's Carter. Pocket starts to collapse. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Pocket starts to collapse as soon as I snap the fucking ball. They need another stop on third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Wide open downfield. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Going up top on first down. Fires to the tight end. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Looking at a second and short now. Could be down to the two minute. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. And here comes the offense on second down. One back in the backfield, he gets the carry. He showed off the stiff arm, but apparently he needed a He's tough four. A lot of defenders around to stop him. <laughs> there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. This is a big third down. If they can move the chains, they can just about salt this game away. Yep. There it is. Near the sticks, it's Porter. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. He has been the go-to guy on offense all game long. On a critical third down here in the fourth quarter. Surprise, surprise. Guess who they go to? That guy. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Defense uses a timeout quickly trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Ordinarily on second and ten you might look past, but here you just want to keep that clock moving. The give to the back. A run up the middle is stopped for no gain. 
I think if your offense here, the game boils down to this one play on third down with the lead late. If you get the first down, that's ball game. There's not enough time left for the defense to get it back and go march down the field. So let's dial up our best play offensively. Let's make sure our best players are touching the football here. Looking to throw, it's Carter. Oh, right through. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. And it's intercepted. A huge fourth quarter play for this defense. You talk about coming up big in a big moment. Nice job by this defense. Ready, set. Ready, man. Quarterback's just going to take a knee. It's really easy to get caught up in the emotion of a rivalry game. We did, and certainly this was a huge win. Yeah, and you started, you circled it, you were ready for this team. This is this is the rivalry you put a lot of stock in all offseason. We're talking about this game in particular. You go out and get the dub. It's a relief because you definitely wanted this team. And it's bragging rights for everybody, for the coaching staff, for the fans, but how about for the players as well? For another 365 days, you can talk about how you went out, you dominated, and you beat your rival. A lot of these guys are going to go on to the NFL. They'll be in locker rooms next year. They'll be talking about this for a long time. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse...